Not a big lake guy, though, bro. I'm a beach guy. Nah, bro, lake is just it like... It depends. Lake's way cleaner than the beach. I don't think so. Way cleaner. Like, you, you jump in the lake, bro, bro you're take, taking a 50-50 chance of getting a big guy. <laughs> lake or ocean? In the NFL, it's sink or swim. No one knows that better than South Korean-born kicker Young Wei Koo. Sports was a big part of me ever since I was born. In that culture, once you turn one, they lay out a bunch of different things on the table, and you have to grab something. The meaning of that is to show what your career will be. I chose a soccer ball. That held true for me. Ku was a soccer star, but when he moved to New Jersey from Seoul in the sixth grade, he found another sport. During a lunch recess in middle school, that's the first time I saw what a football looked like, really. And that's when they're like, oh, wow, like, you should come out and play because, you know, I just booted the football. So I signed up and I remember sitting in my parents' car, like, had the full pads on, but I didn't know if it was done right. So I'm just looking out the window to have somebody walk by. It's like, oh, okay, I got the right pads on. He figured out how to put on a uniform, but was still struggling to communicate in his second language. Coming here from Korea, there was a language barrier. And in high school, he was more quiet until he got more comfortable with a lot of the cultural things. I was tired of kind of shooting hoops by myself on the weekends. So I got the courage to say, hey, do you want to hang out on the weekends? But I didn't know how to say that. So I just said, I'm bored. And they called me that weekend and we hung out. And that was pretty nerve wracking at the time. But that was a big moment for me, for sure. The big moments continued. Koo earned a scholarship to Georgia Southern, where he was a finalist for the Lou Groza Award, given to the nation's top kicker. In 2017, he signed with the Chargers as an undrafted free agent. And in the season opener, Koo had a chance to tie the game. And now with five seconds to go, it's the rookie, Young Wei Koo. See if he can make this a tie game. Snap, hold, kick is tipped, blocked, no good. End of the game. The following week, it came down to a game-winning field goal attempt. Snap, hold, kick is up. And it is no good. And their rookie kicker cannot put it through. After missing three of six field goals, Koo was released by the Chargers. The head coach at the time told me, and it stuck with me till this day, he said, it's a production business. It's about what you do now. And I love you as a person, but you have to produce. You have to get the job done. That's what we're here to do. And that was real. That's when I was like, all right, let me figure out how to do my job so if something goes bad, I can bounce right back. Koo was drowning. So he turned to a kicker who stayed afloat in the NFL for 24 years. The day after he was released from the Chargers, he gave me a call and said, what's the address? And so he was in my gym, my facility in Carlsbad, California, uh, within 48 hours of being released, and we went to work. So if I don't get a good lean out here, my toe will drag a little bit. That's why I'm always wearing down my cleats. I learned more after I got cut from the Chargers when I stayed for a year with John Carney. I'm gonna pick his brain and learn how to become a pro. In 2019, Ku signed with the AAF, hoping to make an impression on NFL teams. It worked. He was a perfect 14 of 14. And in late October, the Atlanta Falcons offered him a contract. So I got that opportunity with Atlanta. We're gonna sign you and you're gonna play in the game. I was like, okay, this is literally what I've been waiting for since the Chargers. And now it's time to go. Brand new kicker for Atlanta, who really doesn't have much of a track record, so we'll see. There's no turning back. You messed this up, it might be it. This is the second chance that not many people get. Well, let's see what Koo can do. And he is perfect. So they just signed Koo, and he's four for four field goals today taking a shot on Koo, and it has worked. Everything was different. My intentions were different. My confidence was different. Year and a half, two years, it gave me the tools to actually be successful. 
Young Way Koo to win it for Atlanta. Snap, spot, kick is away, and it is good. And the ball game is over. You know, game's on the line. I've got all the confidence in the world in Young Way when he rolls out there. He's clutch. To win the game for Atlanta. Snap, spot, kick from Koo is away, and it is good. Young Way Koo on top of the world with another game winner. I mean, he could be a global icon. There are very few people that their Q factor can uh, spread around the globe, and Young Way is one of them. For now, who is sticking to his own backyard? Without football, I wouldn't be sitting here, you know, speaking the way I am because football taught me how to speak more fluently and emerging myself into a new culture. So I try to bridge that gap using the platform that I have. Well, I didn't really have the resources to go to these camps uh, and I couldn't really explain to my parents. I want this camp to be about interacting and learning how we can help you guys. I try to invite ESL students as well to provide that platform for them to socialize with different people. Hey! Watch out! Boom! Get there! Let's go! Hey, that's a bomb! No matter what you do, what field you're in, I think it's about people. I love doing it. It's also because of the perspective I got from on the other thing on the other side of it. In 2023, through week 12, Ku only missed one field goal. The Falcons kicker has finally found his sea legs. The ocean's big, bro. The lake, where is it going? The ocean's a massive lake. Think about it. I guess. It's a hot take. It is, it is a hot take.